Thank you for joining us. Welcome to A Quest for Change, a systematic approach towards implementing electronic health records. Our mission, to create an organized method of implementing electronic health records, also known as EHR. To establish a culture of comfort and proficiency with the staff utilizing EHR as well as to ensure an efficient and effective timeline for completion with our mission. Organization is key. As you can see from our work structure, we utilize Microsoft Project. This software enables us to categorize the various departments and their needs. We were able to include laboratory, nutrition, radiology, imaging, and various other departments with their unique structures in a way that was sensible and also efficient. Although certain phases were able to occur simultaneously, there had to be an order with others. For example, patient information management must be configured and trained before we were able to configure laboratory or radiology, although both of those departments were able to be configured simultaneously. After laboratory and radiology, then we were able to implement the configurations of pharmacy and imaging, and lastly, the clinical information system. This organization was extremely important for the configuration and training to occur. Without such an order, it could be quite chaotic. This is our list of master tasks and project schedule. As you can see, we are presuming a total of 325 days for total completion. Our project is to begin on June 28th of this year and is targeted to end September 24th of 2008. Our master tasks include patient information management, laboratory, nutrition and food service, radiology, pharmacy, imaging, and clinical information systems. As you can see, Clinical Information Systems comes last and is also the most timely out of all of the departments. In the planning stages, we felt it was absolutely vital to ensure sufficient time in each department for configuration, then training. It is possible once configuration of one department has occurred, we can continue and con configure the following department before training of the previous department has occurred. For example, once the configuration of patient information management is complete, we may go on to laboratory and begin to configure its database, while simultaneously training the Department of the Patient Information Management. However, it is always easier to expedite a process than to continually install delays. For that reason, we have included a total of 325 days for execu execution, although we presume that our project will indeed be complete ahead of schedule. Here is an example of one of our subtasks, laboratory. In laboratory, there's chemistry, microbiology, and anatomic pathology. In order for the training of the chemistry department to take place, first, configuration must be complete. As you can see, timelines are outlined. We estimate that configuration of chemistry will take 10 days, and later, training will only take two days. Afterwards, microbiology, configuration will be 10 days, and training will be five days. If we find that configuration is actually less time, it is very easy for us to change the deadline and expedite our target end date. An example of changing our timeline is demonstrated here. As you can see, clinical nutrition is assumed to take eight days. First, we'll have configuration followed by training. However, if we should find that configuration of the clinical nutrition program should only take one day, we will then be able to implement our training for a total of six days rather than the estimated eight. Our target deadlines are easily adjusted and our final end date will also be adjusted. It is a very simple way to adjust our timeline in an orderly fashion, yet still being able to 
have adequate time in each department. Of our lessons learned, we have learned that Microsoft Project is phenomenal to work with. It is indefinite possibilities and lots of resources that make simple changes easy to do. However, learning the nuances of the software initially was very time consuming before we were able to become efficient. The online demonstrations were helpful, but live people are always invaluable. Real life obstacles make project managing much more complicated. For example, it's difficult to anticipate staffing shortages or how much IT personnel will be available to accommodate simultaneous training and configuration. However, throughout the entire process, we may just become project managers in the future. Thanks so much for joining us. Have a great day.